right, we're back right here in your premier morning news magazine. And the song you hear me playing underneath this interview is Celebration. And we are truly celebrating. I'm the sort of person that when the people that come up under me, uh, particularly young folk, millennials, uh, Gen X's, uh, I like to celebrate with them because that does me proud when you reach back and help someone in the infancy of their career when they're trying to figure it out and then they have surpassed way above your expectations. It's a celebration and one person that I know, I remember interviewing him while he was in college. He was doing a rap thing, which most young students do. He was doing a hip hop thing. His, his stage name, and I always say that, and I'm st I still love his name because <laughs> I know he's completely the opposite of what his name says but his name, uh, his rap name was Killer Kale, uh, and he was, he, he knew how to spit, you know, like young people say, the guy, he, he had it together, so I knew he was talented, and and rappers and people, what I call poets, are some of the smartest people on the planet, look at Lil Wayne, you know, Lil Wayne went back to the University of Houston, got his degree, I think he got his master's, but he is a poet, he is a genius, he's a wordologist, and Kale is the same way, so he's been able to take the talent that God has given him and multiply this talent way above what anybody thought, but he had a hope he had a vision and he had a helpmate his beautiful wife he's back in the studio with us fresh off of winning not one not two not three but four telly awards national awards for his production skills uh his telling a story in second sec 30 seconds okay i want to welcome you back to the studio and let me just say for the record man i am extremely proud of you and what you have been able to accomplish welcome back my brother tony thank you brother man it's an honor to be here hey man you didn't leave much for me to say you didn't tell my story so well man the intro was amazing i appreciate that well i followed your career uh you know i saw when you know you were trying to fill yourself out you were up there in college uh up in uh you were in the, what's the name you of the school know, you were university of louisiana monroe uh and i remember you came out with a a cd uh and i put your song on it because i liked it yeah uh what yeah. i really liked about it is you know uh it was clean enough for me to put on the radio. So right, I already right. knew your spirit. You you know, you, you didn't step outside of yourself to present your message. And then when you came back home, I remember uh, you took a job uh, and you started learning about being a videographer and editing and producing. I remember uh, hiring, uh, it was Eric? Yes. I it was hired Eric Hunt. Shout Eric Hunt, him. absolutely, to do the Dietrich Hatton concert that we had at Peabody uh, for my client, Rap Peach Primary. We brought Dietrich Hatton in and I handled most of the marketing, the posters and all the stuff, and hired the crew. I called Eric and said, Tony, I can't be there, but I got, I said, who? He said, Kay. I said, man, I know Kale. Well, great. Uh, yeah, bring him on. And 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 I saw you doing your thing. It was hot out there. You were sweating. Was, you was, was holding that. that you didn't even have your own. You was using his equipment yes, at the yeah. time. How long ago was that, Kale? Oh, man, that was a long time ago. That was... It seemed like yesterday to me. Yeah, over <laughs> but, eight years ago. Over eight, close yeah. to ten. Yeah, about eight uh, to ten years ago. And I saw, the, you know, the brother, you know, doing his thing. And you put together a formidable, nice piece. Uh, but you're on the infancy. And now, uh, and I know Eric is proud of you, that you've even surpassed, uh, as far as national acclaim, uh, him and what he's doing. He's still doing his thing, and I love him. He does a great job, and he's managing some groups and what have you. But you, to, to bring back home, uh, and because you were working full-time, you know, there's no, you know, you're working at followed your career. And then you got to the point where this thing, you found your talent. Uh, like God said we're supposed to do. And then you multiply that talent. And now you've gone full time with Bonton Media. And I see you all over the place. Now you have mainstream clients, mostly mainstream, because that's where the money at. Uh, and they have been hiring you uh, to do uh, their marketing. And many of the clients, at least, you know, quite a few of them, uh, are now using you exclusively because their business has come up as a result of your creativity, your knowledge of production skills, being able to tell a story in a short, short time, but to win these four national awards, these telly awards, uh, that just speaks volumes for itself. So, yes, yeah, so, yeah, I can be your media guy. <laughs> I can do that for you. Uh, and, yeah. you know, bring you up on any stage uh, to introduce you. But when I saw that, and this year you won too. So, yes, man, let me ask you this. Uh, before I 
get into that heavy question, I want to talk a little bit about your family. Let me okay. give credit where credit is due. Absolutely. Tell me about your wonderful wife and tell me about the kids because you have the American dream. You have yeah. a beautiful wife that loves you. You found her. You have favor in the Lord and you have wonderful children that are under your household. Yeah, man. Um, like I say, shout out to my beautiful wife uh, of six years. It'll be this December. Amen. We'll make six years and we have four wonderful kids. One that's 15, one that's 11, one that's five, and one that's seven months. Oh, wow. So we, uh, we're we busy. For yeah, sure. y'all are busy. Is, is that going to be a wrap with, with number four? Lord willing. You know, <laughs> if you ask me. Uh, 15 say, yeah, to seven months. That's a, The Lord always, you know. He does what we, he does. We, we yield to him. So that's I, right. I, 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 the kids are a blessing, so we, we love them, man. So the house, tell me uh, a normal day in the house once you get home from work and how you just kind of get attacked with all that love. Oh, man, from homework to basketball practice to to, you know, watching movies, to, you know, cleaning up, bathing. It's, it's a full day, you know. And that's what, but that, but you enjoy it because that's your posterity. That's really what life is all about, yeah. family. We love it, man. We love it. We're very family oriented. And me and my wife, we both come from a family oriented background. We both had a, both of our parents in home. So that makes a big impact on how we look at family and how we value family, you know. Absolutely. Because we know uh, a majority, 75 to 80 percent of children are, are born out of wedlock particularly in the African-American family, less than 25% of them are born in wedlock. Uh, so yeah. that speaks volumes. How pivotal is it when you have both a father, like most of us didn't grow, and I include me in that number, didn't grow up with my father in my, in my home. My parents got divorced. After 10 years of marriage, I was seven years old in the third grade. So uh, after that, you know, you come by and visit, but I didn't have that father in the home like you did. How pivotal is that to the success of your current relationship with your wife? Man, I think it's, it's pivotal, man. I would say uh, anytime you see a godly marriage with a, a man and a woman in it, that's the optimum design that God created it for, you know. So anytime you're going off of what God designed, it can't fail. Absolutely. And, and, and to put it that way. So we had talked about you and your family. I want to give a shout out to your, your wonderful wife because, you know, we talked about a man who finds a wife, finds a good thing. And listen, women, it's not up to y'all to find the man. It's up to the man to find you. Just put yourself in a place where you're going to have godly men coming to you, like worship, like church, like positive events, yeah. uh, positive spaces. So put yourself, once you're ready, in those spaces where you can have godly men instead of ungodly men which could directly have an impact on your life. Life and your entire future. Uh, and then the favor part, which is what I really like. A lot of people, you know, I find a good thing. I know I got a good thing. But to have that favor is my wife and I just celebrated our 25-year wedding anniversary. Oh, man, that's awesome. Yeah, Congratulations. Thank you very much. So, uh, And then once you get over five years like you and your wife have, you know, once you get over that five-year, uh, you know, they always talk about the seven-year itch. That's not, that's <laughs> inconsequential. But five years nowadays, Kel, that's, that's already bucking the trend yeah. when it comes because many people put their wives away both men and women put their husbands away on a moment's notice and that's the sad thing you know for better and worse what whatever happened to that yeah. it's for, because you're going to have some valleys but you're going to have some peaks so you got to be able to roll the valleys with the peaks and the one thing that my grandparents uh told me one that was alive uh Dorothy, the late dorothy Ware, she said marriage is about compromise yeah that's true there's, you know, big eyes, you know, little me's. It's about compromise. It's give and take. And whenever you see in the scripture as it pertains to a man and a wife, it doesn't talk about, it talks about the man being the head of the house, but it talks about the woman being able to be the helpmate and to be on the side of him. Not necessarily walking behind the man, but walking with. Because salvation is... Uh, it's a solo thing. Yeah. You know, you're going to stand before God, she's going to stand before God. But on this planet, y'all chose to y'all journey to walk together. Mm -hmm. And that's how God intended it to be. No man is meant to be alone. No woman is meant to be alone. And a man is meant to be the husband of one wife and vice versa. Uh, so your foundation is great. And that's why I think, and you know, that you and your wife are both seeing this favor. So you made that transition from working for somebody else. Yeah. Now working for yourself has been how long now? What, one or two years? Oh, two years. Two years. Thank and, God for that. And the light's still on. It's, it's, it's still <laughs> the mortgage still man. being paid. It's, the kids I, still being fed. I tell some of my friends, all the time, man. It's it's surreal. I wake up with so much gratitude because I see where I come from. Amen. And it's been two years, and I haven't looked back since. You have God back. has been steady. 
just every day, just I, growing, you know. I remember when you told me you were about to make the dive, and I think I told you, come in the water, baby. The water is fine. Now, it's scary. That's that initial fear. Uh, we know God didn't give us a spirit of fear, but if you, if you, God is on your side, who can be against you? And once you delve into that water, you want to encourage everybody else to come in, yeah, even absolutely. your boys or some of them, because no man ever got rich really unless you're a big time CEO work for somebody else but you know particularly in our African American community we don't get inheritances we don't see them you know it might be a little of this might be a little insurance money whatever the case may be uh, but most of us see bills and debt yeah. of our parents that we have to reconcile once they pass away uh, most African American families don't have uh, not even let alone rich by compared to wealth because there's a difference between rich and being wealthy a lot of white people are wealthy a lot of black people are rich but the wealthy people are the ones who own the NBA franchise. Right. The the rich people are those who play for that man's franchise, you know, the, the big-time uh, basketball players. But working for yourself, setting your own schedule, being your own boss, ultimately uh, is created the success that you now have. Uh, did you ever see yourself winning four tellies and when I called you and I told you I said you didn't figure out the formula I know because I've been on the inside of editing and I've seen your work progress and you've gotten better and better in telling the story even in 30 seconds letting the piece breathe checking out your editing skills the fluidity of the piece because you know I've been in the industry we're both artists right. that's why they call it when we went to school the school of either liberal arts mass communication it's all artistic taking something from nothing and creating a product that people want to see or watch I would compel people to go and do business with your client uh, so you found out the formula, and uh, very few people understand there's a formula to winning anything, whether it's a Grammy, whether it's an Emmy. There's certain things that you have to do prior to that night where you shine and you get awarded that award. So you figured out the formula on, 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 on how to submit a successful product to the telly uh, powers that be, uh, and, and now there are a lot of people talking about you. Yeah. So you figured out the formula. I, I would say yes and no. But so. it's a creative thing. I think Absolutely. it's more of creative and seeing something different. You, you yeah. showed them something that, like the first piece, yeah. looking at a home from a dog's perspective. You know, the family was checking out the house, but I looked at the dog, and the dog was checking out, hey, there's a nice, there's the sofa. There's the window I can look out of. Okay, there's the kitchen where they're going to be serving. So I looked at it from a dog, being a dog lover. I said, okay, and you got on the ground level coming up to the stairs and all that. So you basically told the dog's story, yeah. not the people's story. It looked like the people were up front, but then we started noticing it. The dog is the one that's going to give approval of whether this family buys this house or not. And right. The dog say, hey, I'm cool with this. Yeah. You know, so that was something that they probably had seen. Yeah. That and that, that was in 2019. That's when we won the gold telly. Mm -hmm. you know, shout out to Miss Kelly Payton and Trish Lulux. That was for her real estate group. That's right. And uh, Miss Kelly, she had a, cr uh, a crazy idea because she's a dog lover. Okay. And um, we came together and I kind of put my two cents in on the perspective for us like the the dog's perspective versus just like a you looking at you know the dog on camera but what would it be like if the viewer was the dog looking from the dog's, dog's eyes and that's kind of like where that creative idea came to came to life and uh we submitted it for the award and that was the first time that i was introduced to the tellies that was through her and we won a gold which is the highest uh right award that you can that you can yeah. obtain you know yeah and i would say you know glory to god like you know I already knew what God put inside me, and that's what I, I follow and that I stand on. But it's always good to, when you acknowledge outside of that. Absolutely. What people give you that confirmation, like, yeah, like, put, give you that stamp of, of whether approval. it be affirmation or whatever mm -hmm. it is, you know. So it's, it's always good to be acknowledged. We don't necessarily do it for awards. We do it for the passion and for, you know, to... Mm -hmm whatever the goal is for the client, but That's it's right. always good to have that national recognition as well. And well, absolutely, because, you know, getting uh, a patch on your back and uh, great uh, compliments from people is one thing, but when people are in the same industry as you, when your colleagues yeah. or your competitors recognize your skill, uh, that's like when, you know, I won a couple of Associated Press Awards, same kind of deal. When you're recognized by people who are in the industry, whether it's news directors, reporters, or anchors who come together to look at your piece, 
They said, boom, that's an award-winning piece. They did an excellent job. It means to you as the person receiving the award, uh, it's much more stampative. It's much more meaning because these are people who are doing exactly what you do, who Absolutely. recognize that you've been set aside even apart from them. Absolutely. And the God calls that being sanctified, separate yeah. and apart. Absolutely. Absolutely. So uh, I like that about it. Uh, and then these last two that you got for telling a Peabody War Horse story Absolutely. to your client, uh, the attorney, uh, in a jam called Sam. Yeah. So Sam Spurgeon. The, yeah. These last two are very special to me because, like I said, I'm a Peabody alum. You came so, up with that idea. So any any chance that I get to highlight my school, it's, it's always a wonderful opportunity. And shout out to, uh, you know, Sam Spurgeon and yes. shout out to Kinetics. We collaborated again on the uh, Peabody football uh protection commercial where the two players you know Buckle got up. into the car then and made sure that they looked out for each other and buckled up before they took off on the field and off the field yeah and that, and that one won us a silver award this year uh -huh. which was an amazing accomplishment and a blessing and i love working with that team they're, they're wonderful and um coach harry good guy yeah love love uh coach coleman yes they, and um principal stewart they were yes. super Dennis. accommodating to us like anything that we needed when i when i brought the idea to them they was on board 100 percent so much love to my school. Uh, that was great. Graduate of what year? Uh, 2008. I ain't mad at you. Go ahead. And now for the <laughs> second one, that one was kind of like a wild card because that was just something that me and uh, Principal Stewart had been talking about just to put together something that showcased everything that Peabody had to offer, whether it be academics to uh, extracurricular to sports. So... Um, I went to Peabody just one day and we spent the whole day with him and we went from every magnet program and every sports group and we pretty much just highlighted them and the goal was to put out a piece for the open enrollment so and we called it why Peabody mm -hmm. and it was just something that I, I did to kind of just give back to my school I had the means and it's something that's been on my heart to do so that's what I did and uh, we put it together and we put it out right before open enrollment and boom, it just hit online. It, all the Peabody alum, the current students, the past students, they just got behind it. And I think we got close to like 10,000 views yeah, in like a couple hours. It went viral. And uh, it was an amazing reaction from it. And, you know, people still talk about it to this day. And, and Peabody have it on their page still to this day. And uh, I ended up submitting that one as well, just kind of just to see. And like I said, that one wasn't, behind, it wasn't a, a big, you know, law firm behind that one. Mm -hmm. It wasn't a big company. It was just something that you I did. To I did for Peabody, mm -hmm. and it won a, a bronze award this year. What I really like is that you went back and you presented them with their own telly. Yeah, absolutely. That, so yeah. that's 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 going to be in the the accolades and in the yeah. trophy case for people yeah. to see. That was a a, a surreal moment for me too. It's kind of like a full circle thing because I'll never forget. Peabody is where I got my humble beginnings from talent shows to uh, uh, Mr. Um, Dodson to Miss Cooper, all mm. the people that believed in me early on when I was just getting started into music. Mm -hmm. And Peabody was always a place that I could always go back to and promote what I had going on, whether it be, you know, performing, whether it be CDs. Like, I, I'll never forget. It was times where I would come back for homecoming with a box of 150 CDs and they let me sit right in the front yeah. selling CDs. That's yes. what Peabody did for me. Absolutely. And they gave me that, that confidence and they gave me that push to keep going. And I'll never forget that because I always say, you know, of course, God, my family, and everything else, but Peabody had a major impact on my career and, and me getting to where I am now. And I, I'll never forget that. And for me to be able to go back and give them those awards, it was it was amazing for me. Well, I'll tell you what, uh, this is just the beginning. Uh, as I told you before, the last time you came on, and you've been on my program probably more than a handful of times throughout the course of your, your career. Even when you hadn't established your career, you were over in college. But I just want to, uh, again, you know, you're on the right path uh, as you put continue to put God first and everything else will come into place. I want to encourage you to do bigger and greater things. I want to see you eventually get into the point if you start making movies or documentaries Definitely. and things like that. Yeah, so that's, that's I know that's on the horizon. Sure. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, you know, whatever we can do to help you get that way. I mean, I recognize your talent and your skills. I'm trying to utilize you for a couple of jobs that you know, we're in the infancy of discussing them, including maybe doing a mini documentary uh, about my show 
understand what we've been able to do in the 20 plus years that we've been blessed by God, uh, like you, to get an increase of starting out with one hour of airtime, buying it on a different station now today, uh, to owning my own FCC license and two radio stations and looking at buying more. So, you know, as, we, as long as you stay humble of what you are, as long as you stay focused, as long as you do what's right and put God where he's supposed to be at the first and foremost, everything else will fall into place. I've given you that advice in time and time again. You've taken it, uh, and you got an amazing family. You got amazing parents. Uh, your dad, I'm giving him a shout out Absolutely. Uh, out there as well. Because I remember out to shout out to, uh, to your father, uh, who again, when I started engaging him on some of the things that he's doing in the community, because he's very active, and that's where you learn that from. Uh, I said, I said, you sound like your son. He said, no, my son sounds like right, me. Right. That, give me a right. Because you know what? You. He yes. You on and I did the same thing with my son because when I hear my son, he sounds like the tone because, you know, the genes are the genes. He sounds yeah. exactly like I do on the telephone, uh, you know, and you can't really recognize as a part. So, again, uh, I, I want to wish you the best. Uh, anything you want to say before I let you go this morning? Thank you for thank you for your time. Thank you for coming and visit, visit with your uncle. No, man, I appreciate you. It's always a pleasure to come down and sit down with you. You've always been there uh, from early on, so I definitely appreciate you for that. Well, we thank God for you. being here. Hey, man, we thank God for you. Uh, again, Kale Bontown, four-time Telly Award winner, live here in the studio at Eyes Open. Tell you what, if you got a product, if you got something you want to put out there on social media, you want to create a, a visual story of your product or your firm or your business, uh, what's the website, Kale? Uh, Bontown Media. Dot com, uh, all social media platforms at Bones on Media. Can't beat that, folks. Yeah, if you're gonna get some somebody to help you tell the story about your business, get the best. Get somebody who's been proven, and somebody whose phone is ringing off the hook and is now working for himself. Uh, I can't say too much more about that. God bless you, son. We God appreciate you. keep doing what you're doing. Thank you. All right, that's my man, Killer Kel Vonta with Vonta Media. Uh, we're gonna have more eyes open when we come back. Thank you again, Kel. Thank you. All right, more when we come back, folks. Don't go away.